seven takeaways as Tinubu meet to the nice label reverses plans for Nigeria. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news update, please click on the notification bell. APC presidential candidate Bola Tinubu met with labor leaders in Abuja ahead of the 2023 general election. Wayne, the labor leader, the former Lagos governor, said he is the most qualified to lead Nigeria among the presidential candidates. Comrade Ayuba Waba and Festus Osifo led the two labor associations, the NOC and the NUC, to the event. The All Progressive Congress APC presidential candidate Asiwaji Bola Tinubu's urged the organized labor to pitch a stand with him in the 2023 presidential election, saying he has a track record for good governance. A statement sent to Legit the Ranger by the Tinubu Media Office in the case the former Lagos governor said this during a town hall meeting with organized labor at Chida Hotel Conference Center in Abuja on Monday, December 19th. 2023 presidency, I'm the most qualified, says Sinembo. Addressing the Labour leader, Sinembo said he's the most qualified to lead Nigeria among the presidential candidates. The session which was used to dissect the Sinembo Shetim Action Plan was a better for a better Nigeria was well attended by Labour leaders from the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC and Trade Union Congress, TUC among others. Comrades Ayuba Waba and Festus Osifo led the two Labour Association to the event. Vice President candidate Vice Presidential Candidate Senator Kashim Shetim and Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabiamila, Governor Simon Lalong Plateau, Aktiku Bagudu Kebi, Abubakar Badari Jigawa, and Abdurrahman Abdurraza Kwara, as well as Honorable James Faleke, Secretary of the Campaign Council, and other APC leaders attended the interactive session. Former the NLC leader Isa Ramosi Sirimba is the best. Speaking at the event, the former deputy president of NLC and director of Labour Directorate of the All Progressive Congress Presidential Campaign Council, Comrade Isa Remo, and told the, labor, told the labor leaders and workers that the choice before them and Nigerians is the next election. Who among the presidential candidates is truly committed, tested and trusted to protect workers and the poor, and who is ready to industrialize the country to bring back decent jobs and pay? Comrade Aremo said Tinubu is the best to deliver on the priorities of the workers. Tinubu addresses labor leaders. In his speech, the All Progressive Congress flag bearer said his antecedents as former Lagos State Governor, which he transformed the state and powered it to the fifth largest economy in Nigeria it is today. All right. He listed the problems of unemployment, lacks of credit, lacks of lack of credit system to allow workers to own houses, poverty, challenges in the educational sector, and weak industrial base of the economy, as what he is coming to address as the president of Nigeria. Today, the questions you all must ask yourself are these: Who can be trusted to accomplish all of this? The man who has done it before, the man whose most lasting achievement as vice president is a corrupt sale of national assets to his friends and cronies. Who has the better plan? The man whose blueprints gather the emergence of Lagos State as fifth largest economy in Africa, or the man whose greatest pride is the amount of money he managed to bury in sand while his state infrastructure decayed and his workers suffered endless hardship? The choice is yours. But permit me now talk a little about myself and my vision. I have always been and will continue to be a progressive Democrat. In my world view, government has a cardinal responsibility to work not only with business, but also with the labor to ensure that all considered parts of our society are afforded by their, are afforded their fair share of rewards without taking undue hardship, to Ember said. All right. Further speaking on what stands him out, Senator said, just like Labour leaders, he has been at the forefront of fighting for the government for good governance all his life, a move which has been detained and eventually forced into exile. Hmm. Nigeria, so the ball is in our courts. Let us do well to vote wisely come 2023. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for 
tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of